It was uncomfortable at first, but students pre-K through 8th grade at St. Francis Catholic School are well acquainted with curriculum that's intended to keep them safe. The first safety rule is no one should touch my private part unless it's to keep me healthy. Maddie Martinez and Brianna De La Cruz are kindergarten teachers at the Jotnius School. They explained the curriculum was localized and the characters were renamed to Juan and Maria to serve as visuals for boundaries and the difference between a good touch and bad touch. The first thing in the school is to keep all children safe, make sure they're safe and assure them that they are safe. We always ensure them that they're safe at our school, St. Francis. So you know, it's, it's important to always reinforce their curriculum. Once you're done, you need to reinforce it. Like we'll ask our students the what are the steps? And they remember the steps. It's a lesson not only in self-awareness, but Principal Bill Paulino says it's also a lesson on the Holy Spirit. Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, so we always try to keep it pure. And if anybody harms you in any way, that you can always tell a trust of it out. Right, and that was really the key point uh, about the, you know, the temple of the Holy Spirit. So children have become very, not just cognizant about, you know, the names of these private areas that should not be touched, not unless to keep me healthy. Um, by using that term or, or the Holy Spirit, children are more familiar that there is a God and that they have that relationship. So they know that, hey, I need to make sure that nobody touches this. Everyone on campus, from the janitor to the cook to the teachers in the classrooms, were trained on what to do if they become a first responder. And that was our primary goal, is to make sure that we just do not keep it to ourselves, you know, hide it, something like that, because definitely that's not going to resolve the, the problem. It needs to be reported. And advice for moms and dads at home? Talk to them about your parts, you know, like your body parts, don't name it, like don't rename the body parts, like just try to be as open as possible. And then also listen to your kid, like if your kid says this and this, really take it to heart and not just brush it up. Under. Last year, in light of the allegations that surfaced against clergymen, the Guam legislature introduced and passed Bill 326 into law. The legislation lifts the civil statute of limitations for child sex abuse cases. The church, in response, however, circulated a petition for Governor DeCalvo to veto the bill, which may result in the closure of Catholic schools, churches, and other church services. According to Polino, What's next is in God's hands. Of course, we are all concerned with it. Um, who should not be concerned with uh, something like that? But you know what? I'll tell you, I believe in God. And in, you know, with divine assistance, I am sure that God will know what to do. I don't know exactly what to do. And, you know, with the training.